Hey, what's going on guys? Carl Shed here and welcome. So today we are in the beautifully scenic Bedford. Actually, this bit's not as bad as some of the bits I have been seeing today trying to find this road. Um, but anyway, today we are en route to do the Bendy B660. Um, it's one of the routes out of Bikers Britain book. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the Bikers Britain, sorry, Bikers Britain is a book with lots of routes from 15 minute roads down to up to four day tours um, in around mainland UK. Uh, don't think it has anything on Northern Ireland or sort of uh, Isle of Wight and stuff like that. But uh, really looking forward to this. I've done a couple of routes out of it before, unfortunately, I've not. Uh, I did two in Wales, but I never actually sort of made turn them into their own individual video but what I wanted to do was uh, now I've got a bike capable of covering vast distances comfortably you know I can reach more of these routes um, in sort of a day or so and get back home um, which will be great hopefully without being rude I hope there's not too much of Bedford to go before we uh, hit the bit of the road that I'm rather looking forward to so this route goes from Bedford all the way up to, I think it's called Ramsey St Mary's, if I'm wrong I'll stick it on the screen, um, just south of Peterborough and I'll pop the route that we're going to be taking on the screen, but uh, yeah, rather looking forward to it. So hopefully this is where the fun begins, be interesting to see what it's like, hopefully the uh, wind noise Jesus Christ okay that was uh, I know they said it was bendy but I wasn't expecting that those uh, signs do make me chuckle that no cold calling signs they um, bear in mind the fact that you know cold callers are normally based in like India or it's an auto dialer they're not gonna read the sign are they because they're nowhere near you. now the problem I have had uh, when I did a bikers Britain route before was the fact that they would horseshoe pass and the road surface was absolutely shocking so uh, I'm hoping this isn't as bad I haven't sort of looked at any videos online at it or whatever so fingers crossed it'll be alright well so far so good had a nice couple of corners there dead thing on the road wouldn't say the uh, road surface is Smooth this, but oh, the uh, is that yeah, you know, it's tire tracks. Luckily, it's not uh, potholes. Seems to be quite a lot of forty zones so far. If you had a nice exhaust, it's ideal. And you can hear all the uh, backfires as you're slowing down into them and the... Huge revs as you uh, leave them. Hmm, Someone is having his thatch redone or he needs new thatch so he's waterproofed it. There's a uh, lot of sort of farmers mud from tractors and things like that on this road. It's a lot of muddy roads. Hmm. Now a nice thing about this uh, V-Strom is the low down torque is absolutely cracking. Now Keith Madmonk, he said uh, it's one of his favourite roads. So it's got some nice corners and another 40 zone hopefully as we uh, get further away from Bedford the villages are going to become less frequent <laughs> so it seems to be about one every mile so far Road. that is a very yellow house oh it's a pub that is that was more yellow than my bike there's been nice Corners. Ooh. It's been nice corners, but uh, so many thirty and forty zones. It's rather mad. It's 
quite rurally, there's lots of farms and things like that and huge amount of mud on the roads but nice open views very pretty yeah so far it's been uh, well that's Ooh. So that's Kimbolton School. What a lovely little town. Okay, so once you've sort of wiggled your way through Kimbolton, it's then a right to Catworth. Yeah, lots of charm in uh, Kimbolton town. So I think Kimbolton marks about the halfway point, but don't quote me on that. Whee! So nice just to have a little bit of National Speed Limit Road. So this is what most biking is about. I've got a lovely bit of view on a bike that I love, lovely and comfortable. It's not raining yet. Um, and just nice views. See for miles. And lovely, just sweeping bends. Road surfaces. A little bit bumpy, I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's go left. Well, turns out I took a wrong turn. Uh, which was just back at this last junction where it says RF Molesworth. Don't turn left, turn right. I had to stop and check it. Didn't label the uh, BC's. B660 just had because this was the sign here and it didn't say which road was which so I just went left because I thought why not but yeah go right Ooh, definitely go right it gets curvy now what I didn't realize is when I uh, incorrectly went to RF Molesworth I did not realize there were any uh, US Air Force bases in the UK I mean, I know they used to be. Oh, this is... That was... Tighter than I thought it was going to be. Oh, and then right here. How long is only eight miles? I mean, the road's definitely got better. I don't think it's uh, quite as, what should we say, yeah. Uh, annoying as it first was. It definitely gets better after Kim Bolton. Oh wow, nice little chicane. We got another one up here, is this more gentle? Yeah, that's more gentle. Jesus Christ, that one's tight. <laughs> Watch out for that one, bloody hell. So there are a couple of very, very deceiving corners on this road, like you saw back there. So it's just worse. And the book did mention there are a couple that are really going to uh, test your metal. Not in terms of them being like violent corners or whatever, but they don't look that steep. 
of them don't look usually uh, tight and then they are and the great thing about this book is that it shows you that there's some great roads just not that far away from you and then you know it was about an hour for me to get to Bedford just under um, Google Maps said an hour um, and it shows that you don't have to travel that far to just you know hop on the bike and and that's the nice thing about this book is it's quite nice to use routes that you wouldn't normally use because why not you know it's been a brilliant day for me I, it's well, it's half past one um, and you know I've been going very leisurely I haven't been bombing it around I had some sandwiches in my backpack I stopped a little way and um, had some sandwiches in Bedford now I've got a ride home which I don't know where I'm going I don't know what the routes roads are going to be like and that's part of the fun for me of uh, riding a motorbike so I've not been stuck behind a car the entire way till I took that wrong turn as soon as I get over the A1 hey this is lovely that bit sort of almost slightly new foresty Oh, it suddenly got a bit bumpy. It's Norfolk for you. Well, it's not really Norfolk, is it? I think we're still in there. Uh, where are we? Lincolnshire. It's in this long bit of straight road. I, mean, I don't know if you can see it goes all the way back there. You, um... If you're on a sports bike, do not open it up. There are some serious bumps in that. Well, if you're on any bike, but I've never seen a turf place before. That is amazing. Marks the end of the uh, B660, and it has been a fun road. Um, like I say, between Bedford and uh, Kim Bolton, it's not the most enjoyable. There are a uh, few, what should we call it? A few, uh, not speed bumps, but uh, just shit in the road. There are far too many 30 40 zones. But yeah, it's been fun. Anyways. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you ever so much for watching and take care.